Thank you, everyone. Welcome to our town board meeting for October 1st, 2024. Would you please rise and join us for the Pledge of Allegiance? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Please call the roll. Councilman Giacobbe? Here. Councilman Nicholson? Here. Councilman Marcon? Here. Councilman Marcocha? Here. Supervisor Calavita? Here. Okay, we have our first opportunity to address the board on a specific agenda item. There being no one raising their hand, we'll move to approval of the minutes of the October 1st, 2024 town board meeting and the October 1st, 2024 special town board meeting where we interviewed uh, police officers. Someone, uh, does, does anyone have any modifications or amendments? None. There being none, someone can make a motion to approve same as submitted. So moved. Second. Please call the roll. Councilman Giacobbe? Aye. Councilman Nicholson? Aye. Councilman Marcon? Aye. Councilman Marcoccia? Aye. Supervisor Calavita? Aye. Next, we have the reports of departments, boards, and commissions. We have the police department report, a written report we can receive and file, together with the, uh, this is for September of 24, with our detective report and our uh, uh, additional uh, fee schedules and whatnot. Uh, anything further, Chief? Sure. Uh, good evening, Mr. Supervisor, members of the town board. Uh, two quick uh, things to mention. Um, two weeks ago, uh, Sergeant Yanni and P.O. Chacon uh, participated in Coffee with a Cop on uh, National Coffee with a Cop Day. Uh, this year, we changed it up a bit, and we sent them to the senior centers um, to really connect with our residents. Uh, and I just want to commend the both of them, particularly Sergeant Yanni um, did most of the speaking. I got to see him in action. and. You know, they really engaged the seniors and gave them advice on, um, you know, securing their residences, protecting against scams, um, you know, and, and just some basic police information. So I want to thank them for that. And then, of course, um, you know, congratulations to the town board, the Columbus Day Committee. Uh, we had a great carnival parade. Uh, and I want to thank all our members who worked tirelessly over the weekend. Some of them were there for 16 hours. Um, I also want to thank the Westchester County Sheriffs, who are a volunteer organization who come down and help us every year, the Tucko Police Department, EVAC, uh, and the Fire Department, and everyone else. Um, we had a really a, a safe um, carnival and a safe parade, um, and I know, you know everybody had a great time. So. Thank you very much, and I just want to repeat that, uh, to reiterate, I should say, that several people approached me and were delighted at the police presence. Sure. And, uh, you know, there were undercover officers there, there's people all over, and it created an environment where people felt safe and felt that they were going to have a great time and not have to worry about anything. And we had, you know, basically, it was an incident-free uh, event. So thank you very much for all of your effort. I know you headed the security committee, uh, which is very important. So thank you, Chief. Thank you. Thank you, Chief. Okay, next we have our Law Department report. <clears throat> yes, good evening. First, I have a resolution authorizing the settlement of a claim by Ryasuki Kasuya against the town of Eastchester in the amount of $2,450.96 for uh, damage sustained to his vehicle by a town vehicle on September 11, 2024. I'll move that. Ask for a second, please. Second. Please call the roll. Councilman Giacobbe? Aye. Councilman Nicholson? Aye. Councilman Marcotte? Aye. Councilman Marcocha? Aye. Supervisor Colavita? Aye. Okay, next, I have a resolution authorizing the approval of an application for a special event permit submitted by the Huntley Civic Association for the community's 2024 uh, 2024 Fall Picnic in the Park, which will be held at Joyce Road Park on October 19th, 2024. Yeah, I'll make the motion ask that the uh, town board waive the fee for this uh, application and ask for a second, please. Second. Thank you. Please call the roll. Councilman Giacobbe? Aye. Councilman Nicholson? Aye. Councilman Marco? Aye. Councilman Marcoccia? Aye. Supervisor Colavita? Aye. Okay, and last, I have a resolution authorizing the approval of an application for a special event permit submitted by the Wilmot Manor Civic Association for the community's 2024 Halloween event at Cooper Field, which will be held on October 27th, 2024. All right, I'll, I'll make the same motion for the waiver, include the waiver of the fee also, and ask for a second. Second. Thank you. Please call the roll. Councilman Giacobbe? Aye. Councilman Nicholson? Aye. Councilman Marco? Aye. Councilman Marcoccia? Aye. Supervisor Calavita? Aye. Thank you. Next, we have a receiver of taxes report for the month of September, where you can receive and file together with the September 2024 uh, monthly report from our town clerk. Anything further or supplemental? Yeah, I would just like to let everybody know that uh, obviously election day is coming up. Uh, it's, it's November 5th. Polls will be open from 6 a.m. to 9 p.m. 
Early voting will start at the East Chester Library starting on Saturday, October 26th and running through Sunday, November 3rd. And if anybody needs to know where their polling place is or if they need to get an early mail-in ballot, they can go to our website. We have information there. Just go to eastchester.gov uh, in the town clerk section under election information and you'll see all the information on where you, where you need to vote. There's links on where you need to vote, how to get a mail-in ballot, and the early voting information. Uh, that's all. Thank you. Okay, next we have our Highway Department report. We can receive and file the written report. Mr. Latello, would you like to uh, elaborate on anything or go, go a little further? Good evening, Supervisor Calavita, members of the town board. Uh, we'd like to report crews completed planting of our fall flowers and installation of our fall banners. Our residents will enjoy these great colors uh, throughout this fall season. Uh, crew inst uh, continued installation of our hometown heroes banners located on Main Street, Mill Road, Brook Street. Uh, the department is very proud to be part of this program in honoring our veterans. Uh, fall leaf cleanup will be starting soon. Uh, some of our trucks have already gone out uh, as a precept to picking up these piles, uh, trying to get, uh, the cold weather has brought down a lot of leaves, so we already have started. But it, uh, it's an importance to keep these leaves fr uh, from clogging our storm drains and making sure they're on the town right of ways. Uh, heavy rains could clog these drains, and we want to keep our streets clear and safe for, ve for vehicle and pedestrian traffic at all times. Uh, please be reminded that our scheduled pickups during the month of November will change during the holiday weeks. Uh, please refer to your schedule or contact the highway department. That is all I have to report. You remember in November you have Election Day, you have Veterans Day, you have Thanksgiving, so the schedule is going to adjust significantly. And also, of course, we have uh, leaf pickup uh, throughout the entire month. So please, as Mr. Latella just indicated, put your leaves on your lawn. Your grass will be fine in the spring. It'll look wonderful. Don't worry. Just keep it on the lawn for a host of different reasons we've been talking about for a while. But uh, thank you. And by the way, thank you very much for all your assistance in the Columbus Day Parade. Uh, you know, people may not realize that the, the, the highways were painted and uh, barricade everywhere and all kinds of apparatus was brought to Lake Isle, brought back to where it came from and moved about. So thank you very much for all thank your Thank you, assistance. Supervisor Calvita, members of the town board. Very welcome. Okay, next that brings us to correspondence. We have a memorandum from the police chief regarding the New York State Police Traffic Services Grant. Uh, this is basically a grant of $13,340 for additional enforcement patrols uh, for problem traffic areas like uh, dealing with speeding, unsafe driving, seatbelt use, and cell phone use while driving. Someone care to make a motion to accept same? So move. Second. Second. Thank you. Please call the roll. Councilman Giacobbe? Aye. Councilwoman Nicholson? Aye. Councilwoman Marcotte? Aye. Councilman Marcocha? Aye. Supervisor Calavita? Aye. Next, we have a memorandum for the town clerk regarding request for the approval of the 2025 parking management plan for the Gray Rock commuter lot. And uh, I'm happy to uh, make a motion to approve same. This is virtually unchanged, although we are asking the, uh, uh, the, the management, I should say, the owner, to uh, maybe work with us a little bit on uh, putting additional parking in during evening hours in the commuter area. But we're gonna move the application forward to get to secure the parking, but at some point we may, it's a long shot, but we may get some change with regard to uh, adding additional parking down on the uh, commuter lot there. So with that being said, I'll make the motion to approve uh, the submission and ask for a second, please. Second. Thank you, please call the roll. Councilman Giacobbe? Aye. Councilman Nicholson? Aye. Councilman Marca? Aye. Councilman Marcoccia? Aye. Supervisor Calavita? Aye. Next, we have a memorandum from the Superintendent of Recreation regarding the Rec Track System Upgrade uh, program hosted by the Vermont Systems and Ability to Make facil uh, Facility Reservations. And as everyone is aware, um, Leewood Park, which looks absolutely stunning, is uh, just about complete. We have a couple little things to do, and I don't know that we're gonna have uh, a lot of tennis and pickleball on this year, because by the time they finish up, I might be a little bit cool, and we're not gonna you know, wanna uh, mess the courts up, so to speak, early. But what we have planned to do is to establish a reservation system for the pickleball and the tennis courts. And of course, residents will have the priority there. And what we're envisioning is a de minimis registration fee, possibly even a one-time fee if you're, unless your residency changes, and then um, you basically would go on to uh, this app 
for this program, and you would log in your uh, uh, time, requested times for uh, pickleball or for tennis. Kind of like making a reservation at Lake Isle Country Club to play golf, similar to that. So that gives the priority to the town residents. And of course, when there's available time, then anyone can use them. But also, no, uh, aside and different than this app for software, uh, is the persons that will be there. The town will be hiring someone to manage the entire park facility so that if people are there playing without a permit and someone is refusing to get off a court or if there's an issue or confusion with regard to who's eligible to play at what time, whatever the case might be, we'll have people there that will be the arbiters of any issues and we'll be working with all of our residents to make sure everything runs smoothly. But separate from that, this is for the cost of $14,575, that's the first year fee, that includes training, of course, uh, for this system that we'll be utilizing for uh, that whole facility there. So would someone care to make a motion on this? So moved. Second. Okay. Thank you, please call the roll. Councilman Giacobbe? Aye. Councilman Nicholson? Aye. Councilman Marca? Aye. Councilman Marcoccia? Aye. Supervisor Calavita? Aye. Now, similarly, our next matter is a memo from the Lake Isle uh, uh, general manager regarding the same rec track system upgrade for Lake Isle. So what we're going to do here is basically uh, upgrade that system as well. And uh, this would be, again, once again, the rec track program with Vermont Systems. Uh, this is a, a little different fee. It's $13,930. And that includes, you know, though that is for, I should say, all of the, uh, uh, you know, uh, reservations that are made at Lake Isle. There's uh, the whole tennis world up there, the golf, everything, all of that. Uh, there's all kinds of reservations, as you could imagine, for different things as well. But uh, all of it's all being uh, basically extruded through one system and will be updated. So we have the, the most recent software, which is you know, far easier to work than the old system. So with that being said, I'll make this motion. Ask for a second, please. Second. Thank you. Please call the roll. Councilman Giacobbe? Aye. Councilman Nicholson? Aye. Councilman Marka? Aye. Councilman Marcoccia? Aye. Supervisor Colavina? Aye. Next, we have a memorandum from the assessor regarding a tax refund application, and this is for the tax year 2024 for section 33, block six, lot two. There was a clerical error on the 2023 assessment roll, a partial tax exemption for real property of persons with disabilities and limited incomes did not appear on the 2024 tax bill. Uh, via uh, clerical error. So this is just a correction, and there'll be a refund of the amount of $6,513.82. Someone care to move that? So moved. Second. Thank you. Please call the roll. Councilman Giacobbe? Aye. Councilwoman Nicholson? Aye. Councilwoman Marca? Aye. Councilman Marcoccia? Aye. Supervisor Calavita? Aye. Next, we have a memorandum from the town clerk regarding a request for consideration to amend the town's managed municipal parking lot permit fees. Uh, and in essence, uh, what we're doing is uh, increasing uh, the uh, parking fee per month from $55 to $65 or $120 a year for uh, the lots, or basically all of our lots, our controlled lots, uh, the 272 parking permit spaces that we have, not including uh, Garth Road. The Garth Road uh, uh, fees are staying the same. They're at $65. This will go to $65 from the rest of the area. And by way of reference, you know, if you worked out the math, this is uh, approximately a 20% increase, but the rates haven't been increased since 2012. So if you worked it out, it's about 1.5% per year, which isn't that, uh, isn't that bad at all. And around us, or surrounding us, I should say, the rates are extraordinarily higher. Um, in Bronxville, it's $1,250 a year. Parkway Road is $1,500 a year. Scarsdale Village, $2,200 a year, $1,700 a year for the Christie Place Garage, $1,200 for the Freightway Building. Tucko Residence, um, $1,700 a year for Lake Thompson and Fisher. Uh, Non-residents at the various lots, also $1,700 a year. And the non-residents include people from East Chester and Bronxville, which is a little disappointing that Tucko would do that, considering that you know, all of our recreation programs, Lake Gall and all, everyone pays the same fee as long as you live within the, the confines of the town. But notwithstanding that, uh, this is basically for Dempsey Place, Fisher Ave, O'Rourke, the North End, Montgomery, Summerbrook, Scarsdale Ave, and the Summerfield parking lots. 
All right, I'll make a motion to uh, approve this and ask for a second, please. Second. Any further discussion? No, please call the roll. Councilman Giacobbe? Aye. Councilman Nicholson? Aye. Councilman Marcotte? Aye. Councilman Marcoccia? Aye. Supervisor Calavita? Aye. Uh, there is no miscellaneous business except, oh, there's one matter I think that we, we should do. Uh, we all normally have our meeting on the first uh, Tuesday of November. And because that is election day, we always move to the first Wednesday of November. So uh, we have done that for uh, decades. So uh, what I think we should do, though it was not on our agenda, I think uh, as we're, in fact, we're all here and all present, it's been our history and been our, our, our uh, you know, our uh, method of conducting our meetings on the election day or post-election day. I'd make a motion that the town board meeting scheduled for uh, Tuesday, October 5th, at 7.30 here, I'm sorry, November 5th, scheduled for this room be uh, 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 increased or, or uh, moved over one day to Wednesday the 6th at 7.30 here. Someone care to second that? Second. Okay. All right, all in favor? Right. Aye. Oh, I'm Aye. sorry, Joe, you probably got to call uh, yeah. Joe Rec. I'm sorry. Councilman Giacobbe? Aye. Councilwoman Nicholson? Aye. Councilwoman Marcotte? Aye. Councilman Marcoccia? Aye. Supervisor Calavita? Aye. Okay, that brings us to council member reports. Councilman Marcoccia? Thank you, Supervisor. Um, just wanted to thank the Columbus Day Committee, um, the Lake Isle staff, and all the volunteers that helped make the Columbus Day Festival and Parade a huge success, um, including our law enforcement officers um, who did a great job keeping us safe and keeping it a fun event. Um, it was just spectacular this year. I don't know what more to say. Uh, the, the weather was awesome, and I think everyone had a really great time. Um, and then um, just on a personal note, uh, Supervisor Calavita, I would like to express my deepest condolences to your mother, Margaret, to you and your wife, Sue, and your entire family on the passing of your father. Your father put a stamp on this beautiful town that no one can replicate. I remember having conversations with him regarding Lake Isle Country Club, a place he not only acquired when he was town supervisor, but also held close to his heart. I know he was a great family man, and he, he will be missed dearly. He serves as an, as an example to us all on how to live the American dream. May he rest in peace. Thank you, thank you very much. Um, one other thing, I would like to recommend to this town board that we adjourn tonight's town board meeting with a moment of silence in memory of former supervisor, Anthony J. Calavita. Thank you. Okay, Councilwoman Nicholson. Uh, thank you, Mr. Supervisor. Um, well, I'm gonna piggyback on all that uh, Luigi just stated. Um, a huge um, thank you to all that contributed to the weekend of fun and Really, it was just beautiful to see the community. There were so many community members there. And really, uh, of course, uh, God's creation of good weather was a real helping hand. But it was really, uh, I know I had a good time every day there. And, uh, and I, too, and from the Vicaro family, wish you and your Thank family you. uh, comfort in this time of loss. And that is all I have Thank this you. evening. Councilwoman Marcotte. Thank you, Supervisor. So sorry for the repetition, but I too would like to congratulate the Columbus Day Committee, uh, certainly all the volunteers, all of the Leos, all of the Park and Rec, Sally Vatiti. Um, and just, I think it's worth pointing out that uh, uh, all of that work, obviously it, there's so much goes into putting it together, but some of the members of that committee have literally been on that committee for 19 years, which is, it, it's just an amazing accomplishment. So I also want to thank all of the volunteers who helped with the senior 50-50. That is something that we have been doing also for 19 years. And um, I know I, I was joined in doing that with all of the members, my, my colleagues in government, Clerk Dooley, they all jumped in. Uh, Luigi Marcoccia took clipboards and went out into the crowds and sold tickets. And it all adds up, and it was a significant sum of money that went back to the seniors to help defray the cost of, of their budget in, in tough times. So I know they were extremely grateful. Um, I, I, too, also want to extend condolences to the Calavita family. Certainly, everybody knew Mr. Calavita Sr. Um, he was a legend, not just in the county, but of course in New York State. And he truly, truly left this town 
uh, a better place than, than when he found it. So my condolences to your family. And then just lastly, um, I know Clerk Dooley spoke about the election day and early voting, which starts the 26th, but if you want to participate in the election, you must be a registered voter, and the last day to register to vote is October 26th. So you can fill out a form at the early voting site. Uh, you can give it to one of the inspectors. They can bring it back to the Board of Elections, but your form must be in their hands by that date or you will not be allowed to vote. So that concludes my report. Thank you. Thank you. Councilman Giacobbe. Thank you, Supervisor. Uh, from the Recreation Department, just a reminder, it's Halloween month, so our trunk or treat will be October 25th at 5.30 to 8 p.m. here at Town Hall. Our ragamuffin parade will be October 27th at 2 p.m., and that will kick off from the middle school and march down here to Town Hall. And what more can I say about this weekend? It was a great event. Where else can you go and hang out with multiple generations from town? It was great hearing from all the residents that were having a great time. It was uh, so well attended and safe, thanks to our police department, all the rest of our first respond responders. Um, and I'd like to say uh, my condolences to the Calavita family from my family. And that concludes my report for today. Thank you, thank you very much. Yeah, I also, I feel compelled to uh, thank the Columbus Day Committee, of which you know, a, a lot of us are, are members. Uh, they did a great job. And uh, East Chester happens to do it well. Uh, you know, the fireworks is something a lot of other places don't do. The homemade meatball contest, a lot of other places don't do. The homemade wine contest, uh, we had a, a tremendous, tremendous number of bottles that were submitted. It was really very competitive. And also you had, uh, I don't think we did it this year, but we had a, the, uh, the uh, Columbus Day Nona uh, a competition. Who's uh, the best grandmother in the town? It was like a lot of fun stuff that we do that makes this place wonderful. And uh, you know, Dick Stewart does a great job with the amusement rides. They are safe. There wasn't a single scrape, a single injury. Everybody went through the whole weekend without any, uh, any agita, for lack of a better expression. But they did a great job. The vendors did a great job. We kept the prices down this year, kept everything down. And we re rearranged things to get more seating, which people generally appreciated. So the whole thing went really well. And of course, it was started in 1974. And this was our 50th year, 50th anniversary, started by my father, uh, who passed away on Sunday. Of all days uh, to pass away, he went on Sunday, Columbus Day in East Chester. And somebody was kidding around. He said he must have a lot of juice to call his day for Columbus Day in East Chester. I thought that was pretty funny. Of course, my mother said the only thing crazier would have been had he passed away on Election Day. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, you know, that's the way things go. And he did a wonderful job for the town of East Chester. He was the uh, former deputy town attorney. He was the former town attorney and, of course, former supervisor for 10 years. And I was always kidding around with him that it would all these formers before what he had done. He said, uh, looks like he can't hold the job, you know. So we always kid around. But uh, he gave his heart to the town of East Chester. He loved East Chester. And acquiring Lake Isle was probably one of the uh, high marks of his tenure as supervisor, because we all enjoy that today, and it was a great move, and he bought it for a song back in uh, 1978. So, um, you know, we're all gonna miss him. I, of course, I'll miss him as, as my family will. And thank all of you who uh, sent an email or a text message, uh, you know, with condolences, and I greatly appreciate that. So, one of East Chester's favorite sons is gone. Can I, can I just add something? Of course. Yeah, I'd just like to express my condolences as well from Thank my you, family to your family. I'm going to miss his stories. You know, he always had a great story and went on and on and on, and it was, just, it was just great to hear him talk about the good old days. So he will be missed. Well, I was always the butt of a lot of his jokes pertaining to supervising, <laughs> so, you know, everyone got a kick out of that. But anyway, I guess that, that's the end of our meeting. So uh, would everyone, thank you, Luigi, for the recommendation. Would you all please rise and join me in a moment of silence for uh, Anthony J. Collins. Okay, thank you very much all.